Court don't remand before before Chamo of Pension Reform Tax Team, Abdul Rashid Mehna, inside prison. Jolly Jolly inside River State as Supreme Court don't uphold the election of Nisun Wike as governor. Southern African Development Commission, SADC, don't they beg Nigeria, say make them do something sake of the sanction where US and EU summer on top Zimbabwe head. And for sports, Super Eagles don't fall to 35th position for latest FIFA ranking. My people, Ona, oh, good evening this evening. My name is Na Douglas, and this Na as it take happen. For the first story we are carrying on for now, Federal High Court will sit for Abuja, don't give orders, say make them package the before before Chiamo of pension reform tax team will be Abdul Rashid Mayna enter inside prison. The presiding judge, Justice O'Connor Bank, today will be Friday, order the prison service, say make them make sure say they give Mayna opportunity to meet with in lawyers. They can shift the case to ending of this month, that is, will be October 30 for trial when no go fail. According by the chief judge, the trial, the trial go, go they happen every day and room no day to shift the case as the court no go entertain any application when no carry weight to shift the case in the course of trial. Then give Mayna four days to prepare for in defense. The Koko be say, EFCC now then carry Mayna and, and in Peking go court today. This one followed the initial arrest of Mayna and in son for September 30, 2019, for one hotel inside Abuja by the Department of State Services, DSS. Then they try to then they try then they try Mayna sake of one heavy allegation of Uruwuru money, who then suspects say in hand no clean, and the money na two. 0.1 billion naira. Meanwhile, the same federal high court don't remand Faisal Mayna inside the police special tactical squad. Faisal Mayna will be the son of the former chairman of pension reform tax team, Abdul Rashid Mayna, then arrange him on Friday by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, will be EFCC. As it be, the, the, small, the boy talks say, he know they're guilty to three count charge with border on top money laundering and other offenses. They accuse Faisal, say he they operate one secret account between 2013 and 2016, and indirectly they control money with past 58 million naira between that period. The accused person talks say nothing like that when he plead not guilty. The prosecutor, Mohamed Abubakar, can tell the court, say, make them remand them for police custody inside the special tactical squad at Sokoro for Abuja, as they still they touch light a matter, especially the one where consigned illegal possession of gun. As it be, they don't shift the matter to November 6, when the trial will commence on a day-to-day -day basis, as the court, Don Kukuma talk, say, they no go entertain any application, we no get weight to shift the case. And on top of that one, the Supreme Court don't uphold the victory of River State Governor Nyeso Nwike for the 2019 governorship election inside the state. For one judgment will be seen on a panel of three justices on Friday deliver, Supreme Court uphold Nwike's appeal against the decision of the Court of Appeal, wherein state the petition of candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Biopomabo Awara, the court on top of the landmark judgment by the three justices will be seen at Justice Enyang Okoro lead. Then rule say, hearing of one petition with them abandoned amount to no other purpose than academic, just as they had say, the hearing now exercise in fertility. That is, the matter now waste of time. When I fit remember, say the River State Governorship Election Tribunal earlier for October been dismissed the petition of AAC candidate Awara can declare Mwike winner of the election. And later, the AAC candidate can challenge the matter for the Court of Appeal. My people, for the next story, the Southern African Development Commission, SADC, don't they depend on Nigerian government, say, make them assist their member country, will be Zimbabwe, so that they go withdraw the sanction where US and EU summer for their head. The High Commissioner of Tanzania to Nigeria, Mohidin Ali Mboweto, now come the beg on behalf of SADC on Friday for one press conference where we say now seven member countries attend inside Abuja. According by him, as member of the frontline states during their struggle for independence, they say make Nigeria no fold their hand, they watch Zimbabwe economy, they die on a daily basis. So 
call upon the government and the people of Federal Republic of Nigeria to stand with us in this just cause as they did as a member of the frontline states during our struggle for independence. We cannot turn a blind eye on the plea of uh, brothers and the sisters in Zimbabwe. Uh, we cannot remain silent and watch injustice uh, perpetuated on our own. Zimbabweans deserve an opportunity to live dignified lives. Also, uh, for your own part, the, the councillor and head of chancery to Zimbabwe, T.O. Mutuki, will explain how the sanction will take spoil market for them. Talk say they no they get they no get any case of human rights abuse where U.S. accuse them of. Of the UN Charter, in particular uh, Article 41, which stipulates that uh, sanctions can only be placed on a member state as a result of a UN Security Council resolution. Now, these sanctions by the EU and the USA are not born out of any UN Security Council resolution. So, we believe they are based on a false premise, and therefore we advocate for their unconditional removal. How Correspondent Abayomi Akimbola reports say among the 16 member countries, now representatives of South Africa, Congo DRC, Angola, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Namibia show face for the press conference. For other news, people where they live inside Abuja, especially people where they enter motor from one place to another, don't they complain sake of the poor state of bus stops and terminals inside the city of Abuja? The residents will narrate the challenge within the pass, pass through in trying to move from one location to another, especially when they use the bus stops. Don't blame the FCT administration sake of their inability to provide adequate and standard bus stops and terminals with fit modern capital city as Abuja. Correspondent John Emmanuel go, go round the city to of Abuja to find out how people they cope on top of this one, especially the state of bus stops for Abuja. Abuja bus stops now areas where they design keep for road where passengers feel still wait for vehicle or drop from vehicle. Modern bus stops these days not only they serve as a place where passengers feel wait for motor alone but also they serve as a place where passengers feet come take shelter. This one means, say, in case rain they fall or sun they shine too much, people free enter the bus stop go hide from the rain or sun. But the question where they ground up is, say, Abuja will be the model capital city of Nigeria. Get correct bus stops where people feet go hide to take shelter. It doesn't protect people from the rain. Why I say it doesn't protect? It's supposed to have... The wheat is supposed to be up to 6 to 7, and the length is supposed to be up to 10 or 11. But they doesn't make it there. And inside it, they're supposed to put a kind of city. The structure of it is not too good, so that is it. So they need to put right good structure for people in case of rain and sun. If they are raining season, they are nowhere to run to. And the way Abuja building is, everybody is on your own. Anyhow, anyhow, there is rain or there is rain any time, any day. Once you're outside, the rain will surely beat you because you don't have, you have no place to run to. We don't have uh, 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 enough uh, this in, um, what is it called, bus stops. Because if you look at the other one now, <laughs> you can't hide yourself there now. Apart from say the bus stops with the Abuja no make sense, the ones where even the ground self just resemble Babambola house. Send it to places it's supposed because it's not enough. Increase our bus stop, I think make it, make it look more dull. What we are seeing here is, is out, of, out of stock. Please, government should try and uh, provide a uh, uh, bus stop for us. Uh, better bus stop, not like all these ones that are here uh, like this. For many years now, the Federal Capital Territory Administration don't they make plans to provide more than bus stops and terminals for inside the city of Abuja. But waiting the delay that plans, now be waiting Abuja people never still know. And waiting everybody they talk now be say, make them try provide better, better bus stops and terminals if they want Abuja to bomb like other big cities of the world. 
This na John Emmanuel for Wazubia Max TV. And from Abuja, make we enter Bauchi State. Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohamed don't express confidence, say in state go soon get plenty money, we will help them execute any kind of project where they want to. The, gov the governor talks, say, with the one we be say, then discover oil inside the state, then go soon join other states of Niger Delta region, we get entitlement to package 13% oil money, where government they pay states where they produce oil. When they talk with Tory people after it declared open the FCT minister's press conference retreat inside Bauchi, the before before minister of FCT revealed say when he resumed office as Bauchi governor, the administration injects 10.8 billion naira for provision of plenty infrastructures across the state. The governor will be say and chief of staff Abubakar Kari represent him talk say the state government don't award contract with worth 17.3 billion naira to take construct 92.6 kilometers of roads across the state. And for the next story, as a concerned African Union, the African Union Department for Trade and Industry don't hammer the need for member countries to channel their focus to achieve industrialization so that they will fit address economic challenges and improve industrial development within the continent. These are some of the mindset for one workshop we'll be sending an AU Department for Trade and Industry organized to help find out the kind of money we then require to fund Africa's industrialization agenda. Chief Technical Advisor to the AU Department of Trade and Industry, Ronga Ichizema, talks the industrialization now the major key we then go take change African story, plus including to position the continent for economic development. He particularly yearned about the importance of Nigeria to drive the industrialization process. Just as he talks, say, the country gets a bonger role to play on top of the process. We know that energy is also an important enabler, especially down south in the region. We have um, energy problems in, in, in the southern region. So it's very important that um, we, our energy is also sustainable, reliable, and cheap. And we're so happy that we've been able to leverage our own human capital, our own resources in the continent to unpack the African debate on how we can leverage our resources to better fund, sustain the program. Because we have everything here. In Africa, 95% of everything you see on a car, we can produce it here. The 5% can be done somewhere else. So why are we not having a vibrant vibrant auto value chain development. We are all discussing on the financing industrialization in Africa. Uh, we are looking at uh, particularly how the informal sector can also reap the benefits of uh, industrializing, uh, industrialization in Africa. Um, part of uh, this focus is, uh, is on the SMEs. We we'll also look at uh, some of um, the tools that are necessary. Is it on policy, government policy, and how the private sector can leverage on this uh, policy to benefit uh, particularly the informal sector that are driven by women and youth. My country people will not be listening and they watch as it take happen on top was Zobia Max TV. We they come back with business news. And for Nasarawa State, business activities inside Doma local government area of Nasarawa State stand attention as workers lock up the council chamo, Mr. Rabu Sani, to, uh, to, uh, of, to press for the payment of their outstanding September salary. The workers will be saying their blood they hot accuse the council chamo, say he expose them to unnecessary hardship with the one will be say he, he know the two day for office. When they addressed the aggrieved workers, the chairman blamed the problem to overstaffing and the 100 million naira debt where the former chamo leave behind. My people, sports news, they come. Will they come back? And for the world of sports, Super Eagles don't drop from the number 34 to 35 for the latest FIFA ranking for October, where the world governing body uh, FIFA release. For the ranking, when they release on Thursday, Nigeria get 1,481 points as against 1,482, the, the record they then get for September. No shaking as Nigeria still occupy third position for Africa behind Senegal and Tunisia, where they placed 20th and 29th, 
with 1,546 1, and 1,495 points for the level. Belgium, France, and Brazil still they maintain their first, second, and third positions for that order. Uruguay, Croatia, and Argentina move up by one spot each to place fifth, seventh, and ninth, respectively. No victory again to tell you, say, between the last ranking for September and the recent one, Super Eagles don't play international friendly against Brazil for Singapore. The game be end 1-1. My people now the Tory be that, but before I go, make I tell you now waiting from our major Tory. Court don't remand before before Chamo of pension reform tax team Abdul Rashid may now inside prison. Jubilation and jolly jolly inside the river state as Supreme Court don't uphold the election of Nyesom Wike as governor. Southern African Development Commission don't they beg Nigeria, say as it be, make them do something sake of the sanction with US and EU summer on top Zimbabwe head. And for sports, Super Eagles don't fall to 35 position for latest FIFA ranking. Now, so the matter be on top of Zobia Max TV today. Thank you, say you're the part of this news. My name is Douglas. Una good night.